Good morning, everybody. How are you doing today? You know, it's funny, yesterday somebody, a good friend of mine, asked me what types of people that I am attracted to physically. And it was an interesting conversation because, and, and let me bring this in, I'm gonna tell you. I was super specific. I mean, really down to the gnat's ass specific. It was pretty, <laughs> and you know, it's true because what I described without really necessarily thinking about it was my current life partner. And <laughs> it's funny how that works out, right? <laughs> but one of the things I think the biggest lesson here, and I was thinking about this when I wrote this blog, when I'm talking to coaching clients, my coaching clients, which, by the way, you got to check out the Agent Unleashed Collective. The Collective is badass. But anyways, I digress. <laughs> but when you are running a business, if you're running a real estate agency, or if you're running your own private listing business as a real estate agent, if you're running any business as an entrepreneur, you need to understand your client. You need to understand what your ideal customer is. You know, where do they live? Where do they work? Where do they, um, what are their dreams? What are their fears, their insecurities? Um, what types of marketplaces do you want to be in? Where, you know, how would you describe your ideal seller? That's the bottom line. Because the more that you can understand and create this ideal seller in your head, the more you can um, focus all your energy and your money in marketing to those kinds of people. This is the biggest mistake I made in real estate when I went into real estate in 1923. <laughs> I, I, when I went into real estate a long time ago, I didn't do that. I didn't really figure out what my ideal customer was and I was spending all kinds of energy and all kinds of money everywhere trying to attract all different kinds of people to my listing business. So the more that you can figure out what your ideal client is as an entrepreneur, as a real estate agent, really try to nail it, zero in on that ideal client and then spend your time and energy and your money going after that kind of uh, client. That is how you are going to become more successful in real estate, more successful in any entrepreneurial activity. And I'd love to know how you do this. Are you zeroing in on your ideal client? Let me know at theagentunleashed.com. Hope you have an amazing day today. Don't forget to pay your taxes. All right, guys, take care. Stay healthy.